Uh. Ouch. I. I feel like there there might have a few crack ships may have spawned from Danganronpa 69. Oh my. Oh my. I forget if I've talked about Danganronpa 69 in this session, in this playthrough. I, I, I keep. That, that's the thing about having a, a limited like amount of things that you talk about, or if you're hyper focused like me, you like you forget what you have and have not talked about. See, like, like I, I have all of those ridiculous life stories, and I just can't remember who has heard which ones. <laughs> um, I didn't hear either of the stories about your teacher, Mr. L. Okay, um, do you want to hear about me eating the hall pass first, or do you want to hear about me being blanket first? Um, eating, let's, eating the let's hall pass the hall is a pass. much shorter story. <laughs> yeah, let's start with the hall pass. So, so it was my senior year of high school, and um, my for study hall, I just hung out in the supervillain high school wing. So, uh, it was my study hall. Mr. L was working on, like, paperwork for a grant or something. Oh. And while he was doing this, some of the freshmen came up to him and were like, Hey, Mr. L! We need a hall pass! What, what do you need a hall pass for? Like, do you need to go to the bathroom or something? No, we just want to go to the hall and hang out. We don't have any... No, I'm not giving you a hall pass to just go to the hall and hang out. What's wrong with you? But we need a hall pass, and we're not gonna leave you alone until you give us one. He, he sees me there reading Dracula. He's like, Lantern, la can you come here for a minute? Take care of this. And I'm like, with gusto! I just grab the hall pass they have in their hand. Hum! Oh. Mr. Did L, Lantern Aid. swallow it? Oh, absolutely! <laughs> oh my god! You ate paper! That's cannibalism I... in this game! <laughs> it is cannibalism <laughs> in this game! <laughs> Bonk. But everything's made out of paper. What else are they gonna eat? Yeah, that's a good point. Shit! So then they're all cannibals. They're all what? fine young cannibals. Let's not think about this. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> this Mario is going well with your corpse alive. party LP. Yeah? Mario, you're alive! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Marty! But I saw Demento in your game! Then Tippy said you were here, so I thought I'd come take a look, but you're truly alive! You know my bro always bounces back. Like me, my balls are always bouncing to the left and to the right. It's my belief that my big balls should be held every night. Oh. Okay, between that and me reading that you just quoted me talking about Luigi being Polly. <laughs> uh, this video has gone places. I mean, if, I mean, if you want to add more to it, uh, Game Theory did in fact do a a theory about uh, the size of Luigi's. <laughs> Why? But, uh, it was because of like one particular official piece of artwork of Luigi. Mm-hmm. Hey, yep. Also, apparently, we have seen Mario naked in comics. <laughs> yes, oh, of course we yes, have. Yes, it was in. It was even Nintendo Power. Mm -hmm. You know, for kids. We can, <laughs> we can. We can talk about the fact that I have the biggest balls of all later. For <laughs> now, let's head into my house. Oh, is that what those things at the end of your beard are? <laughs> <laughs> Look, age does things to the human anatomy. Yep. <laughs> so, huh? so you're telling me you went from your teacher to the principal to your mom to your dad. You got kicked out. You went got mugged by Will Wheaton. You got arrested. I'm not Will Wheaton. You got 
mugged by a, you got arrested by an Irish stereotype. You met, you went on trial. You met Bill Clinton. You got executed. You went to a small, medium, and large devil. You talked to Gilbert Gottfried. You ended up in Pittsburgh somehow. You met the entire cast of Undertale. You ran into some big, giant, purple gorilla who really wanted to give you your pen back. And now you're here. That's right. Oh, but also the, 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 this like pointy horned kid and a wolf and a bird and a bearded man showed up. <laughs> <laughs> so hey, I'm Javert. I'm my bro's bro. Nice to meet you. But who's your bro's bro's bro? Well, who's the bro of the bro of the, the, the bro's bro? Haven't we bro met somewhere? Wait a minute, aren't you Hitler's lawn? I love that production! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm glad to meet one of my adoring fans! Can I have your autograph? Oh, of course you can! Oh boy, I'm gonna sell it on eBay! God damn it! <laughs> That was so wholesome for a solid second. <laughs> Is it possible you're our fourth hero? I never but I can't. I can't count higher than three. I thought it was. I'm gonna do some that. I just found this interesting bit in the light promotions. The seventh lost pure thought will draw together two men. Gay. I expected that to be a lot gayer than it actually turned out to be. And when the light returns, its brilliance will show the way to the last hero. As Tippy said, I think this fellow in green may be our final hero. Mario, I never stopped believing you would return. Also, I was possessed by a fox for a while. It was very weird. I thought we agreed never to speak of that again. Are we in Japan suddenly? <laughs> oh no. Is this a Studio Ghibli movie? I hate Studio Ghibli. <laughs> I've only seen two of those. Eventually three, but we'll get to that eventually. <laughs> but Princess Peach and Bowser. How to proceed? Well, if you could come, perhaps, perhaps Peach and Bowser also can. First, let's find a heart pillar we can set this baby. Yeah. So, the, uh, blanket story? Okay. So, uh, I was in high school in the early 2000s, um, early to mid 2000s. And, um, for some reason, the thing that was very in vogue and it was really really stupid was bomb threats um oh. every so often some idiot would like leave a calculator or something with a note saying like there's a bomb in the school and because that was the the age of ye old terrorism like people would obviously panic about it so um the normal procedure for bomb threat is everybody go out to the football field while the police send a bomb squad to go through the building for several hours. We've had so, a couple of bomb threats at my school. I'm familiar. Yeah, it, it was like a once a month <laughs> thing for us. Oh. Yeah. So, um, it was the middle of, like, January, and, um, we were in this... It was another day at Supervillain High School, and, like, it was a day that a bunch of people were doing presentations. It was friggin' cold out, so I dressed in layers. But because it was presentations of some kind, several of the girls were dressed in, like, nice pinstriped skirts, you know, we're looking very businesslike and professional. And wouldn't you know it, bomb oh, threat great. happens. So we all have to... Out to the football field. <laughs> And so we're in the bleachers, it's like two degrees out or however friggin' cold it is. I have like my jacket on, I have my hoodie on. You know, like I'm in layers. One of my fr two of my friends come up to me and are like, We're cold! And I'm like, eh, okay, you know what? 
fine. I can stand the cold a little bit. So I take off my jacket, bundle it around them. Because I have a big wingspan, it fit over both of them. They're like, oh, we're so much warmer now. Thank you, Lantern. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> so then Aww. another uh, another girl comes up to me and is like, Lantern, I'm cold. And I'm like, eh, fine. I, I was born in Connecticut. I, I can stand cold for a little bit. Here's my hoodie. There you go. Thanks, Lantern. It is at this point where the story gets fun. <laughs> because there are five of those girls who were doing presentations who are wearing the pencils, the uh, p pinstripe skirts in winter outside sitting together on the bleachers. Lantern, our legs are cold. I look at them. I look down at myself. I look back at them, <laughs> look back at myself, I look back at them, look, I only have the one pair of pants, I ain't Sharon, <laughs> sorry, it's not happening, just shut up and get over here! <laughs> so, five minutes later, Mr. L walks by and sees me draped in front of the legs of these five girls. I'm facing outward, I'm facing outward. <laughs> but, he, but he looks down at me, looks up at the girls, looks down at me. Do you have a good explanation for this? No, sir, I do not. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> It, it was very uncomfortable and awkward, and I'm just like, Ugh, I, feel, I feel sketchy. Why don't they feel sketchy? Oh my god, what's happening right now? I'm probably not even imagining what it actually looks like right now. <laughs> I'm probably imagining something completely different because I'm chased. <laughs> but, like, I'm just draped in front of them, and I'm like, mm, My god, these knees are bony. I thought I had bony knees. Apparently, I was wrong. But now it just shows the goodness of Lantern because he'll literally take the shirt off his back to help you. I was also once a table leg for a pool table. But that's another oh story. <laughs> well, I guess we'll, we'll have, have time. To, we'll, have to, we'll have to touch on that story in the next episode. I guess not then. So, hey, something for everybody to look forward to. But until then, take care. Later. Later.